I saw this article published in The Pillar yesterday, which I found very, very interesting. Uh, Fact and fiction, Vatican II and the vocations crisis. Because many will argue that we can't assume that because we had a council that it is the cause of the vocations crisis. The post hoc propter hoc argument that that, um, some people say happened in the last 50 years because we had a council and because things were changed after the council that is the cause i personally find it very difficult to uh, say that the council is the cause of the vocation crisis simply because um i've traveled a lot with the, in the east in the orthodox world and if you go to mount athos and you look at say the early 1900s on mount athos you had thousands hundreds and thousands of monks on Mount Athos from all over the world, you know, and this was the case that the Orthodox monasteries were full of men in many places. And if we look at the Orthodox world today, which didn't have a second Vatican Council, we do see a massive fall off of monks in monasteries, same as we've had in the Catholic Church. So, I mean, that's just a comparison that I've that I've done looking at the Orthodox world, comparing it to the Catholic world. So I saw this article, which I found very interesting. It's it's a it's a debate we've been having for a number of years uh, with many people in the church. And I just thought I'd read through this article and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. It's very well done. Uh, So the article Fact and Fiction, Vatican II and the Vocations Crisis by Brendan Hodge. It's on PillarCatholic.com. It is common in the church to speak of a vocations crisis and has been for decades. In many U.S. dioceses, more is being asked of declining number of priests, with parishes increasingly sharing pastors or being and being merged together. But while it is common in some Catholic circles to point to the Second Vatican Council as a turning point in priestly vocations, data examined by the pillar suggests a decline in vocations was already underway in decades before Vatican II began. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, there was a global decrease in the number of men being ordained to the priesthood. But a look further back suggests a pattern of decrease had begun earlier. So when did vocations start to decline? To examine the question, the pillar collected data on a number of diocesan priestly ordinations per year in the 17 major dioceses around the globe from the Anuario Pontificio, an annual directory of the Catholic Church, which was, has been published in various forms since the 1700s. Since World War II, the Anuario has included basic statistics about each Catholic diocese, including the number of diocesan and religious priests present, the number of seminarians, the number of registered Catholics and the number of ordinations. The data from seven major European sees shows that the average number of diocesan ordinations was in decline for at least a decade before the Council. From the 1950s to 1961, the number of diocesan ordinations in these seven sees decreased by 28%. From an average of 12 annual ordinations per 1 million Catholics during the 1950s to 9 in in 1961, the year before Vatican II was called. More declines in vocations followed the Second Vatican Council, the number of priests ordained per million Catholics declining another 50%, in those seven seas in the two de- in the two decades following Vatican II. Since that time, the number of vocations has generally stabilized in these European dioceses, although some, such as Dublin and Munich fr- phrasing, have seen more declines than other, and others, Warsaw, have seen increases. The numbers. So good, um, a good chart here. Uh, So we can see that from 1946, uh, Second Vatican Council, and uh, we see afterwards the the various declines and, uh, you know, some countries booking the trend and others definitely not. Uh, Dublin here, (laughs) Dublin is really catastrophic. And as we know, Dublin doesn't even have a single seminarian in formation at this moment in time, which I find quite 
you know, mind boggling, to be honest. Anyway, further going on with this article. As the bishops of European diocese prepared to attend the first session of Vatican II in 1962, they would have looked at a world which not only had seen two world wars and a tense nuclear standoff between Western nations and the communist bloc, but also at a situation within the church where four out of the seven major European dioceses we examined had fewer seminarians in formation in 1959 than they had in 19. 51. So total diocesan seminary, seminarians in philosophy and theology. And we look here again, uh, I mean, Dublin, it has nobody in formation at the moment, uh, which, you know, Dublin being the largest diocese in Ireland w- by Catholic population has nobody in formation at the moment. Um, and we look at the other uh, Madrid, Milan, Munich, uh, Paris, uh, Vienna and um, and Warsaw. So there is a decline, but Ireland seems to have really bucked the trend when it comes to the decline. The situation for bishops in the major dioceses of the United States was similar. The most established dioceses, Boston and New York, saw their number of seminarians peak in 1953 and then begin to decline. Chicago and Los Angeles further west had growing numbers of seminarians into the 1960s. Galveston, Houston was not yet among the country's largest diocese, but had 100 seminarians in formation in 1959. Bishop Wendelin Joseph Nold could not have known it was the largest number the diocese would have for the next 60 years, even as the Catholic population would increase for nearly by nearly five times. So here you have the United, a picture from the United States of the of the increase after World War II, and then we saw we saw a decline. Indeed, the major difference between the situation in Europe and America was that the Catholic population in European uh, diocese we analysed was the same in 2020 as it had been in 1956, while in the five US dioceses we examined the population increased by 120% during the same period, probably because of immigration. Although the total population of the Austin priests ordained in the United States has consistently averaged 430 per year since 1990, the number of Catholics registered in the U.S. parishes has increased from 56 million to 67 million during the same time period. Analyzing the number of diocesan ordinations per million registered Catholics in the five major U.S. dioceses for which we collected data, the trend that emerges is of a church in which vocations were already decreasing in the decade before the council, but which dropped far more rapidly in the 25 years afterwards. Although the decline has been more gradual in the last 30 years, the number of diocesan ordinations per million Catholics in those five dioceses has still declined from 5.2 in 1990 to uh, to 2.1 in 2022. So we can have a look here at the chart that they've put together. Um, which is, you know, great data to see. The pillar also collected data for five large dioceses in the developing world. The number of Catholics in Manila, São Paulo, uh, Mexico City, Buenos Aires and Lagos, Nigeria has increased significantly over the 76 years for which the data we, we, for, for which we collected data. Many of these dioceses have also lost territory and with it priests and registered Catholics as additional dioceses were erected to serve the growing population. For instance, the Archdiocese of Mexico City saw eight new dioceses carved out from its territory between 1950 and 2019. But even in dioceses across the developing world, there was a decreasing number of diocesan seminarians in the years leading up to the council. Before a low point in the late 1960s and early 1970s, there were far fewer men in formation. Starting in 1975, the number of of seminarians began to increase in all five dioceses. Buenos Aires, Mexico City have seen decreases in recent years, but Lagos has seen consistent growth in seminarians over the last 20 years. So here we have the chart, Buenos Aires, Lagos, Manila, uh, Mexico City and São Paulo. 
um you know it's 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 very interesting to see the 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 data here on on sao paulo uh, mexico city in green uh, a bit all over the place and yeah we definitely see a drop off here at the moment lag was increasing lagos has been in, has hasn't seen any decrease yet very very interesting data although the total number of seminarians in the developing world has increased the catholic population has increased rapidly as well during the 1950s there were 2.9 diocesan ordinations per for every million registered catholics in these five dioceses since 2010 the average has been 1.6 so here uh, ordinations per million catholics in these five dioceses second vatican two interesting data very interesting diocesan religious priests the data shows that the share of priests ordained as members of religious communities has fluctuated growing in some parts of the world and declining in others although the anuario provides some data on the number of religious priests who are ordained within a diocese not all dioceses reported the data consistently so it is difficult to track the ordination trends in religious orders as compared to the diocesan priests among the seven dioceses we analyze in europe the percentage of total priests present in the diocese who are religious rather than diocesan has increased from 38 percent in 1950s to 44 percent in 2010 in the five united states dioceses are in our data set the share of religious priests decreased from 48 percent in the 1950s to 44 percent in 2021 in the five dioceses studied in the developing world the share of religious priests decreased from 64 percent to 56 percent during the same period across the regions and dioceses the data we examine suggests that vocations were already declining in many dioceses prior to vatican ii which would be the same what we see if you look at the orthodox world and you compare what happened to montathos and other um uh, orthodox monasteries all, all over eastern europe and russia and so forth um although with the fall of communism we did see an increase but not back to where it was this trend in the face of an increasingly secular world ha was doubtless one of those which many hoped the council would help resolve nevertheless the immediate post-conciliar period did see an even greater de decline in the number of priests ordained to the priesthood since the 1970s and 1980s the trend in vocations has largely stabilized however in parts of the world where the number of catholics is continuing to grow the growth in ordinations has not has not kept pace with the increase in the catholic population while catholics often speak of a church as returning to a missionary mode in an increasingly secular world these trends suggest that the church will have to battle serious constraints imposed by the relatively fewer number of priests available to minister to a large and growing number of lay catholics credit to the pillar <laughs>